Hi everyone and welcome to another bin picking video where we're going to talk about cycle time. What is cycle time? Cycle time is the time needed to locate a part, pick the part, move the part with a robot and drop the part onto your next step. So we're not using a secondary station, why? We're picking rings and what are we going to use for the rings? We're going to use a fixture that is conical shaped here to recenter the ring. So we have a nice conical shape here where the ring will slide on and it gets centered so we get our 99.9 .9 reliability and robustness. So if we split up the cycle time, what do we have? Let's say the vision system takes some time, the robot grasping, all right, let's start counting. So we need four, five seconds for the vision system. We need one second for the grasping. We need about six to seven seconds to move the part depending on what type of robot this can be very different this can go from three to four seconds and then we have the time of dropping the part let's say one second what do we see it's vision and the robot who take up most of the time what can you do of course you can hide the detection time in the robot motion time how does this works this basically works by triggering a first detection, giving a pick frame to the robot, let the robot pick the part. The moment the robot starts swinging away and is out of the field of view of the camera, you trigger a new detection from your robot program. It means those four or five seconds will run into those six to seven seconds. What does that mean? Your total cycle time consists of over 80% by robot motion time, by grasping and by dropping the part. So that's why it's very important to really think about a good robot program, good robot motion, but also at a very good gripping design. For example, for these rings, if you can pick these rings with a magnet when they're standing up, you can just go straight down, pick them, but then how will you drop them onto the fixture? You need a very strong magnet to turn them 90 degrees and then drop them on the fixture. So think about it, because the grasping and the robot motion time are very important for your cycle time. Vision becomes very important when, when you start mounting the camera onto the robot. But we'll have some more tips there in our next video.